Hey guys, how are you? I hope you are having a wonderful holiday season. Today is 28, 19 December, and I want to show you some progress of the brain feature I was working so far these past two weeks. So this brain feature is based on the pluggable AI tutorial with scriptable objects made by Unity. So let me show you a quick sample of what we are working with. Now as you can see I have my player wolf and we have an enemy wolf patrolling these waypoints and if I get into his field of view he will haul and he will chase me and if he get near me he will attack me right. and I can attack him too and if he kills me look at my health right here kills me one more hit another hit well, if he kills me, he will return to the patrol state. Now, let me show you what I have so far. We have a brain or state controller in case of the tutorial. And we have states. For example, the wolf have a patrol state that it will make him patrol. It will set the speed to walk and the stance to the default stance so we can walk normally and it will have a transition with a decision that we will look for the player and if he see the players it will go to the next state which is named wolf attack if not if he, if he does not see the player it will remain in the state now in this wolf attack state he will play the whole animation he will move to the target he will change the speed to throat he will change the stance to combat and he will play the main attack infinitely until the target is dead so he can return the wolf patrol state or if he lose the side of the of the target on a radius that we have so let me show you again if he sees me you see the radius and I, and, I, in, uh, and if I go way off that radius it will return to the patrol state okay now so when I release this new brain feature I will give you some pre-made tasks that you can use on your brain for example we have a circle around, patrol, move to target, make the animal jump, make the target jump, for example, set any speed, set combat or default stances. We can play the hole on the target. If I make a new task here, and let's use this one, play hole on target, and if I hit play and go to the target, I will also hold. Right? Great. Okay, now let's try this from scratch. Let me hide all the wolves and let's use the little dragon tiger to make this happen. Let's use the tune, the tune one. And let's make him an enemy let's change the material to know that is the enemy it should be the bad guy unpack him let's remove the con the malware's input let's remove this screen we won't listen to any event let's and the animal control control 
please add an agent yes let's make an empty child um let's add an agent let's name it agent let's put it a bit here let's check your default stopping this that should be this and uh, we won't need uh, any walking distance okay so far so good we have the waypoints let's give you the first waypoint actually let's use our wolf as the main player instead of the little dragon you know and the other one where was it let's just remove it let's call you enemy and very important we need to change this to another layer so so if i have multiple ai enemies they don't hit each other so they will be hitting the player instead it's the enemy and now this guy should walk without a brain he's walking and he's doing his thing as you can see he's looking to the camera so let's fix that so he can only look when there's a target here yeah. now let's add the brain now we add the brain so we need an eyes so he can look to something let's create an empty child let's call it eyes and let's put it into the head to the head now let's put it right in front of the head so it doesn't collide with any of these body colliders the attack triggers doesn't matter because they are triggers but the head does have a collider we need to set the eyes that I just created now these dragon eyes these are the meshes as you can see I'm hiding them these eyes and now let's create our first state in remain state we need to choose the remain state state maybe in the future I will make this automatically now let's here in assets let's create a folder and call it brain I states let's create a new state here in the pluggable AI Marvel animations state let's call this a troll let's put it a green color and let's ha add a new task create Marvel's pluggable AI task Patrol them. Little Dragon Patrol. Little Dragon Tiger Patrol. Let's call it Little Dragon Tiger Zero One Patrol. Okay, now let's add the first task here. This will get the first waypoint that we have on the A Animal Control and add it as the patrol. So he will patrol it. Let's add this task here. Now let's add a new transition. Let's create a look decision. Let's look decision look look for player animal. We have here animal player. We have radius. Let's set it on the transition. And since this is the current state we can see the the bug gizmos little dragon tiger look for player now let's change the range to 10 for you want and now we need to do something if we look for the player now we can look for several things here we can use for tags which are my custom tags unit tag zones 
a specific game object, the closest waypoint, or we can look for the current target we have. Now, if we look for the animal player, we will assign it as the new target instead of the waypoint we were looking. We don't need to move it to the target. Now, we have this state. If we see the player, we do something. If we not, we remain in state. Now, let's create a new state which what we will do is to circle around for three seconds so let's create a task create a new task circle around circle no is here is the movement task circle around now let's add the circle around task to the state and let's create a transition with a new weight decision let's wait for two seconds and then we go to the next state let's create let's wait two seconds if not we remain in state if true we go to the new state which will be attacking the player Little Dragon Tiger, please attack, distance, hit fireball. Now, what we need to do in this state, let's change it to, um, I don't know, this color. Okay, if we circle around and if we wait two seconds, then we go to the attack. Now, this one, here will keep a distance. Let's create a new task. Opening task will be keep distance. We keep a distance of five. The distance threshold of one. Okay, let's see the gizmos for this AI state. Let's add it into the current state, and we can see all the task gizmos for this state. Distance, keep distance. Now let's keep a distance of 6 or 7, the threshold of 1.5. So the, the player will be here on this distance. And we are keeping the distance and we want to make a mode. And this mode is another task play mode, play mode. And this task, let's call it Little Dragon Tiger Do Fireball. Now, the fireball is an attack 2, and let's see here on the modes of the animal, we have attack 2, here fireball is the index 1, so in the do fireball task we set the index to 1, affect self, we want to do this mode on self, on the little dragon, and we want to do it every 3 seconds, and also we want to look at the target while we're doing the mode. So let's do this. Put it at time 2. Also, we need to set a look at because the fireball uses the aim feature, the aim component. So we need to aim to the target while we're playing the fireball. So let's create a new task. So look at, call it look at. And we want to look at the head of the target so let's rename this task to look at the target's head this will search for a game object child of the target with the name head for example if you want to use attack and we want to set the head tag we need to go to my wolf or the player go to the head and add the tags component and here add the head tag so the look at task will search on the target for a game object child with the component task and if it matches with the tag we are looking for then then the animal will look to that game object so 
We are patrolling. If we look for the player, then we circle around for three seconds. If not, we remain in state. If we circle around for three seconds, and we wait two seconds, and we, the two seconds have passed, then we will attack. Else, we remain in state. And if we attack, we'll keep distance. We look at the target's head and we'll be playing the fireball mode until let's create another decision check state is target death check the target when enters the death state here on the th let's create a new is the target death we return to patrol, else we remain in state. Now let's return to the little dragons and set the current state to the patrol state. Let's hit play and see what's happening. If you see, if he sees us, we will try to keep a di ah! we will try to keep a distance. I get close Maldito. I get close to him it will try to flee it will fire a fireball let's kill it this was Ay, maldito. Don't kill me he try to kill you he's trying to flee and attack me every three seconds Matar. And if you kill me, we go to the patrol state. Yay, it's working! It's working, it's working. It's patrolling again. I haven't tested this with the dragons flying because I need to keep making new, new things. So guys, this is what I have so far. I hope you enjoy this new little feature that I'm cooking. This is a basic brain AI. If you want more complex behavior, I suggest you to use Node Canvas or Behavior Tree, which are really, really amazing assets for a AI behaviors. So that's it. See you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye.